everyone, it's Fez from Crypto Setups and this DeFi tutorial is powered by Icon Plus. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your MetaMask so that you can connect to the sidechain called XDAI. Why would you want to connect to the sidechain? It essentially is a payments network that that is far cheaper to use than Ethereum. So if you were standing across stable coins like DAI and various other stable coins, um, using the XDAI sidechain you can send it for a fraction of a cent regardless of how congested Ethereum is. So th th this is one of the perks we off the sidechain and what we see happening is a lot of these protocols like um, uh, Realt, for example, that started off on Ethereum and paid their uh, tokenized real estate rent on Ethereum, it became too expensive for them. So they have chosen XDAI as a sidechain uh, solution and um, now all the rent of their properties that they sell is used, is dispersed on the XDAI sidechain so that they can still pay weekly and it costs them next to nothing to do it and get get the money to their customers, the owners of the property. So that's a quick example. That's why I'm here today to show you how you can set up MetaMask because it is a, it is not a layer two solution. A lot of guides may say that. It's like a layer two solution, but it is definitely a side chain. So you, you need to configure MetaMask a certain way before you can connect to that chain and off you go. That's what I'm gonna show you to do today. So. Here's my MetaMask. First thing you need to do is click on settings and you can go to networks and add it or you can actually just go here and go custom. Okay, So I've come about it the long way. Here we go. Custom. Already started a new network. Now we have to fill out the information. So I'll quickly fill this, this out. We can see Real T have written a great article breaking it down. So I'm just going to, I'll have this in the show notes and I'm just going to copy the information they have here and put it into MetaMask. Here we are. All the information is put in and the next thing we do is we save it. Saved and you can already see it's on there. Get out of this and here I am. XDAI. One thing to call out every time you do this process. So the Binance Smart Chain is a different chain, but you can integrate MetaMask into it. I've done a tutorial on that. So check it out. But it, for the XDAI, it's the same thing. So your address that you connect, if you have MetaMask set up currently with the Ethereum mainnet, when you add the side chain, it is the same address as your Ethereum mainnet address. So you can see here, and just for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll show you, I've switched to Ethereum, nothing's changed. All it's done is connect me to the Ethereum blockchain. And now if I come back and pick, and you can see I have my Binance smart chain here, but that's not what this is about. XDAI, here I am, connected to the XDAI. It is that simple to set up. So now you could uh, go to HoneySwap. HoneySwap is think, I believe um, think Uniswap. It's just a variation that is on the side chain and you could essentially whatever's listed so I could click launch app and now I should be able to I'll accept the update. I should be able to click connect wallet, pick my MetaMask just like you would running through. You can see it's on XDI, XDI, next, connect, and I am connected. Obviously I have no funds in this wallet, I've just set it up, it's like a brand new wallet, but this gives you a great example that I am now not on Ethereum, I'm on the sidechain of XDAI. So coming back to here, that's it, that's everything set up. So now you can start exploring a layer 2 universe, and by that I mean a sidechain universe and all the dApps that exist in that ecosystem. The other quick call out is the XDAI chain like on Ethereum, if you're sending any tokens via MetaMask, you spend a bit of ETH to, to send those tokens. On the side chain of XDAI, you spend XDAI. XDAI is DAI, it's just got the X in front of it because it's the side chain variant. It's the peg of, it's pegged to the DAI um, stablecoin. So, what we have here is the, the, the gas is also calculated in the stablecoin XDAI. So you know exactly what you're, how much you're spending every time. So one, one way, there are a few ways you can get XDAI and I will cover that later. But for the moment, this is how you set up your MetaMask wallet. If you wanted to uh, swap DAI to XDAI, I be believe BitMEX is an exchange that allows you to do that. 
or you could actually use a bridge that they uh, various other tools they have set up where you can migrate your die into XDI onto your into your wallet directly so um, I'll cover that in separate tutorials I think the goal of this tutorial was just showing you exactly what you need to do to set up your MetaMask to connect to the XDI sidechain which you have now it's connected to the same wallet address same seed phrases everything is the same the biggest difference is remember you need to come and switch here other thing to remember is don't try to send tokens from the XDI chain if you're sending something from here to Binance or you think oh, I'll quickly sell this make sure I don't uh, you're picking the right chain you're sending it to they you cannot send XDI straight to ERC20 chain you'll lose your tokens so please be careful always be careful once you start playing with various side chains and different uh, blockchains altogether via MetaMask as always, thanks for watching. If you like my content, please subscribe, share it around, and and um, if you want to me to cover anything, please let me know, and I will look to get my head across it, learn what it is, and then create a tutorial around it. But I plan to keep building out the XDI series and the protocols that are on offer on the side chain, uh, and and show you how to use various things. Thanks for watching.